Not a problem. So, so we're here with Edward Wolf. So here the ID Tech X. So who are you? I'm a fifth grade teacher uh, from Beltier Elementary in Florida. So what do you do here at this conference? Well, I'm here to get as much technological advanced knowledge as possible so I can bring it back to the fifth grade kids and hopefully create a whole new scenario for them. So um, what kind of things are you doing at school? Well, we've built an aquaponics farm. We've managed to build a solar panel from scratch. Um, we've created a small wind generating farm. Um, we've built uh, different kinds of uh, weather, sh weather material and whatever else. We've had uh, a weather station put in at our school, which is live. So anybody can go on the web to check out the uh, weather itself. We uh, 3D printed the uh, boxes for the solar panels for the small wind generated farm from a local company. So we have quite a bit going on. And I need to get some more information so I can advance that. So how many years, uh Children, you, uh, how many kids in your school, in your class? In my class, we have, uh, I have both classes, my wife and I team teach. So I have 44 for science and math. But I also have a science club, and that's where we do a lot of the extra work, the science club. So, what do you find here? Are you going to do printed electronics in school? Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to turn around and take out the information and bring it back to the kids and see what we can do. Uh, whatever the companies will allow us to bring to those students at that grade level is very important. So the more knowledge we give them, the more they'll advance in what they're doing. So did you look around a little bit? Oh, I went all the way around. Yeah, I'm trying to get as many uh, ideas as I can. A lot of the uh, companies are willing to provide me with information that will help, um, like videos, um, you, websites, and those kind of things that will help me create new uh, information for the students. So how about education in general? What do you think about technology and education? They and, are uh, absolutely synonymous. The difference is my plan is that we should be taking the advanced technology and bringing it down to the lowest possible level in the curriculum we're providing. The advantage would be because this. Because they're going to be doing this. Well, this is what we, they're going to do exactly, in the gap, right? Exactly. Then don't teach them old stuff. That's it. It's outdated. Yeah, exactly. If you teach a fifth grader what's going on now, by the time they're in high school, it's past that point. And the other thing is, fifth graders are not limited. They're not prejudging when it comes to knowledge. So new ideas come out all the time. When you provide them with this advanced technology, they will come up with answers that maybe a high school or maybe even a college student couldn't. How about using Kickstarter? It, oh, it's not yeah. allowed, right? Yeah. There's a law. Yeah. You can't do it without, if you like kids, children. Oh, you're not allowed to do something commercial over. No, well, that's, that's not necessarily true. If the commercial businesses come in through the district and follow the right pre, pre, precepts and meet with the right people, a lot of stuff can happen. It's just a matter of following that concept. The advantage is, in the end, these companies will be part of their lives. It's kind of like right now we think of Apple and every kid in the world knows what an Apple is. Well, that's not enough. We don't know how they're made. We don't understand how they're created. We only understand what the technology provides. That doesn't answer the question for these kids to turn around and create their own. You should uh, uh, open a, an assembly line of smartphones. <laughs> or I'm just giving you ideas. So uh, how about the, you know, like, uh, the kids can come with their own ideas? Like one says, I want to do a space elevator, and you can just start doing That's, it? That's Well, we try to do that kind of process. It was When I started out with the small wind generators, it was supposed to be a project that was just measuring wind and power of wind. We ended up turning this into a project where we built these things and they actually work and they charge up batteries with solar, wind, and they create an LED. Uh, they charge up rather and provide power to an LED. All right, so in the Silicon Valley, there's a lot of uh, crazy startups that's, talking about different things. That's correct. And some of them are cool, right? That's Anything it. going on in Florida? Uh, Florida's got, uh, has Cape some Canaveral. things. Well, Cape Canaveral, we actually have drone this year. So, drone show. Uh, drone. We have a drone. Okay. Um, it's the JP version. Basically, what I did is last year I got excited about the fact that the drones were not being used for everything, so I was thinking our kids could come up with ideas. Um, we found a gentleman who was doing it for a, a living where he was taking a drone and taking pictures in real estate, rolling around. And we realized you could use it for farming, you could use it for uh, other things. Uh, the gentleman has now got a contract with uh, AT&T where he's doing the cell towers. So our high school went ahead because we were talking about it and married up with Emory Riddle and now they have a tech program where the kids when they're done in high school they'll be 
qualified as licensed commercial drone uh, pilots. pilots. Awesome. So you are educating the future of the drone. That's